11, 11.46 a.m. What day is it? Friday, 8th, May 2020. I finally took a shower. Uh, yeah, I took a shower after almost 11 days of not taking a shower. Uh, most of the time I was procrastinating, but I think a couple of days ago, while we were a bathroom sink and shower, it became clogged, so we couldn't use it properly, and I didn't want to take a shower in the, what do you call that, bathtub. Yeah, I didn't want to take a shower because... My mom used to put the, uh, you know, the toilet brush in there. I'm like, Ugh. I can't take a shower in that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I waited for them to fix it. But even, I think they fixed it about two days ago. But even then I procrastinated. Yeah, I think they fixed it on Tuesday. Or Wednesday. Maybe Wednesday. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe, I don't know. It's the way it's still procrastinated. So yeah. Yeah, I really need to step up my taking shower. <laughs> I want to get do at least twice a week. <sighs> you just keep on putting it off and then it's just like very hard to take a shower. <sighs> you know my web, like my mic, it actually the mic works but it's not being recognized by OBS or Windows. I don't know why, but because when I plug this into my mics, you know, the Blue Yeti's uh, headphones, I can hear the mic, and I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with my sound card and my computer, it's like, I mean, the speakers work, but the headphone jack, I don't know what's wrong, it's not, it's not connecting, I don't know what's wrong with that. Anyway, so yeah, I've been just still dealing with the National Disability Insurance Agency, so uh, I don't know, I mean, I think this might have to go to a hearing, and I was, uh, I don't really, I thought I could have, uh, you know, my, the occupational report, I received it, and it was like, you know, mostly recommending that I get the NDIA, but they're, they're like, they even, like, uh, the due date for the, uh, they were supposed to provide me a statement of issues, like, on the 7th of May, and I get this last minute email on, I think on the 6th. I think on the 6th saying, oh, we need more time because they, they didn't, they couldn't consider report and I said, was it the 7th? No, I think it's the 1st of May. Yeah, no, no, no. They were supposed to give it to me by the 30th of April. Yeah, they were supposed to give it to me by the 30th of April. Uh, and then they say, on, on, I think on the 29th, I received an email saying, please give us more time. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll give you this, this seven days. And on the seventh, they said, "Oh, we need the NTI needs more information. Uh, can we do, put?" The... <laughs> and I basically responded, saying, "Well, they they wanted information about, like whether I've been, uh, I don't know whether I've sought treatment for my mental health or something." I'm like, I responded saying, "What? I mean, like you already have the documents from my psychiatrist and psychologist. Yes, of course I've sought treatment from them. That they, they, they provided those letters, and my and I had like my GP gave me two mental health care plans for the past two weeks. I'm like, and I said, yeah, this is just a stonewalling tactic, and uh, this is like abusive. <laughs> I said like this is just uh, they're playing games, and I, I just responded saying you're playing games. I'm not going to give you an extension." Uh, you have to you decide by the 14th, and, and then the registrar called me from the tribunal and said, oh, you, you, anyway, I don't want to talk about what the registrar said, but anyway, so we got an, uh, so the NDI has to, uh, I told them the NDI has to decide by the new date is 18th of uh, May, so they're not going to get their four-week extension or something they wanted um, and I said they have to decide by this date. Otherwise, you know, I think you know they have to take it to a tribunal because I'm like, what? They don't know what they want. They're not. It's like they, it's like they either they don't like me because maybe because of the way I've been so critical of them. Maybe they just don't like me, or maybe they don't understand what mental health issues look like. Maybe they look at my YouTube videos because yes, they do look at my YouTube videos. They did. Anyway, and, and they think like because on my YouTube, I, I you know I talk and I'm animated that. I, 
I'm just not mentally ill. How can someone be this animated and lively and be the... Maybe they don't understand it. Maybe they think that you have to be like so depressed or that you have to look a certain way or something. Maybe that's what... The, maybe... I don't know, man. I, I just... I just don't like this organization. I don't like the National Disability Insurance Agency. So anyway, so I'm just like... I was a bit stressed out over the past few days thinking about this. It's like... Ugh, it's like playing on and on in my mind. It's like I'm constantly arguing with them in my head. It's like taking so much of my energy just arguing with them in my head. Like, Shut up! Shut up! I mean, that's a sign of mental illness or something, right? I mean, if I keep on arguing with them in my head, or like... Oh, I should stop doing that. I don't want them to take over my... <laughs> my life, my energy. I'm like, oh, is this really worth it? I'm like, yeah, look, I've come this far. I think I have a legitimate claim and then I'm going to try and, uh, you know, I think I should uh, pursue this. Uh, so maybe it'll go to a hearing. Uh, hearing means, you, you know, they're, they're tri you know, like a tribunal member and they have to, it's like a informal hearing. It's, it's almost like going to court, but it's not really a court. It's like a tribunal and they might have to write the decision, and you get a decision, and uh, it'll be probably be published on the web. So I'm I'm not sure if they want this to be published, but I don't know. Maybe if it's uh, if it's if there is a good if the decision itself can be useful to other people, maybe whether I win or not. I mean, I hope to win, but. Um, if it contains the you know useful discussions and you know it might be useful to have the public anyway if you don't know what's going to happen but um yeah i've been seeing a lot of lion videos on youtube <laughs> lion and i also almost i ordered this the lion documentary it's called the uh it's about this coalition of six lions like they were like the uh, it's called this, uh, but the do but I cancelled the uh, um, order because I was because I was thinking oh my god this this uh, documentary might con contain a lot of like violence because it's like uh, you know like uh, they don't edit it, this documentary it's, apparently they followed these uh, six lions for about fifteen sixteen years or something and they showed how they were you know. Were, they like conquered this whole territory and they maintained it. They were like, I think five of them were brothers. Uh, it's called the Mogopo Lions. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's The documentary is called Brothers in Blood, The Lions of Sabi Sand, 2015. This is from IMDb. This is a powerful documentary filmed over a 16 year span about the rise of a coalition of six lions branded the Mo no, it's Mago Mapogo lions and their takeover of the largest territory by a pride. So you can see some videos on YouTube. It's, it seems very interesting. It's like. <laughs> lions are, you know the, how you see Lion King? Lions are like that. Lions li are very territorial. They have this kingdom thing where the male lions are, they hold, their job is to fight and maintain territory and, and to, you know, have kids. That's their whole, it's, their, it's like they, 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 they call them lions as king for a reason because they're interested in passing on their genes and maintaining territory. That's what they do, the male lions and the... <sighs> yeah, the people, this, this is a very good documentary, so I might get it later. I'm also like uh, uh, playing tennis, I got this new tennis game on Steam, it's called uh, AO Tennis. Uh, it's very good, it's better than virtual tennis in my opinion. Uh, it's AO Tennis 2, which is Australian Open Tennis 2, but it's, you know, it's a tennis. I also got a cricket game, and also like yesterday I got the golf club 2019. I haven't played that yet, but uh, like cricket 19, cricket 19. I, I played a little bit of that, but I don't know it seems like complicated. <laughs> Where is it? What you can get it on Prime? Uh, why can't I? Is this available on Amazon Prime? 
Amazon Prime. That's for lions. Uh, they're not the Lion King. Oh, that's the 2019 version. I didn't see that yet. Yeah. That's for S-A-B-I. S-A-B-I. I think Sabi Sand is in South Africa. Anyway, they don't have it here, so... The hell, uh, oh, wait a minute, and movies. Oh, there you go. It's forty-three dollars and fifty-five cents. So it's pretty. Uh, it's kind of expensive. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll add that to my list. List of things to get. Hmm. Movies. It's 90 minutes long. Anyway, I've also seen some tiger videos. Mm. What else was it? Why did I make this video? Oh, I don't know. I saw this for an update. What else am I doing? Yeah, I haven't cleaned my room properly. I have to. <sighs> I have to work on all these things. And, uh... Oh yeah, I I, I my uh, phone. I remember I was trying to get a Twitch uh, videos. Like I got found my phone, but I don't know if I want to put my Twitch wads on YouTube. I mean, I mean I don't play games on Twitch, but uh, it seems like a waste of space. Like like you know. It's, it's, Service space. I don't know. Maybe if I, if I do like edits or something, I might put them on that Twitch backup channel. But I don't know. Uh, eh, so I don't know about the Twitch uh, vods on YouTube, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 